Okay, first we're going to make a price taker making losses and first we're going to draw the world market price for coffee. So, oops. And then we're going to draw the demand curve, or the demand line, and then also the supply. Oops, we're going through this. And then we're just going to label those. And now we're going to draw the loss draw the price set at the where the supply and the demand curve for the market price I'm going to label that P and we're also going to label the access axes Q Q and P. Okay, and then we're also going to draw the marginal cost, and we'll color that red. And then we'll also label that MC. And then we're also going to draw the average total cost. And we'll color that blue. And we'll also label that. ATC. Okay. And then also we can label this line, which is D equals MR. I'm put that right there. Okay. And now we have to find Q star, which is where the, it's right here, so we'll draw. dotted line down to the bottom. There you go. And label that Q star. And then we also carry this line up to the ATC and then over. which would be the new price. And then we label that the C, which is the cost, put that right there. And now this area right here is the loss uh, for the company, or the coffee farmers, I guess, in this case. And then we'll just color that like yellow, I guess. Okay, and that is the loss 
for the coffee bean farm and I guess we can label this as well call that oops and call it the individual firm coffee bean farmer making losses And that is it for the price taker.